So the cool thing here is if they use, like, plus three, plus one thing to save Green Glade Duo, right, their shape stone, and they're like, ha, ah, look at how good we are. We're gonna be like, I don't think so. Line them up. We got Burst Speed Powder Keg coming on in here. Get that thing out of here. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivers Fate, our next viewer submitted donation deck. This one's going to be based around powder kegs. We'll have the Fantastic Four, as always, with Sharima. We're going to have Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. So we got a good aggressive start going. But then we're going to pair that with Bilgewater with a lot of different uh, Nexus damage and powder kegs. So we're going to have Dreadway Deckhand making a powder keg, Line em Up making a powder keg. And then with those powder kegs, we're going to make it rain and use Twisted Fate for the red card. Because as we know, red card powder keg is pretty crazy. So red card, make it rain, like those kind of things could do nexus damage. Line them up, creates the knock them down. That could also do nexus damage. And then we're going to use Ruinous Paths in here. There's three copies of Ruinous Paths. They'll get the card advantage going for us, plus continue to drain from the enemy nexus. So we'll start aggressively with those Sharima cards and then use Bilgewater for some Nexus damage and removal and finishing it up. We also even have double up at the top end, two to an enemy, then if it kills it, four to the enemy Nexus, quite a bit of damage. If you got a Powder Keg, make that three and five. That could be pretty crazy. And then even another one drop with Bakai Reaper that every single time we slay a unit gets that plus one, plus zero. Unfortunately, if we... Um, you know, use a powder keg, then make it rain, destroys the powder keg, but it, that doesn't count as a slate for the powder keg. We could slay powder kegs with fortune croaker, though. Deal one to it. All right, but anyway, uh, that's going to be our deck. We're calling it Sivers Fate, and uh, let's see how we do. We'll go take it on over to ranked and play five games over there. Okay, so Rocket Tom Kench. That's a good deck. That's always a fun deck to play and play against. Now, Soraka Tom Kench is a deck with, the, with like very large health, so they are not very vulnerable to our small amounts of damage with our Make It Rains and stuff like that. They actually probably welcome Make It... Like, this is a very good anti-Make It Rain deck, because they want the, that damage, so then they have that damage to be able to heal. So, tough, tough pairing we got to start off with. I think I'll save. I don't think we really have to play Preservarium. I think I'll just save Spell Mana. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with that Spell Mana right now. But we have like the next few rounds taken up anyway. So I'm thinking challenge the 2 1 because the 2 1 uh, has a lot more health to heal. It can turn into a 2 4. This can only turn into a 2 3. Wrap him up tight. Another good thing we did that because they had the Star Spring that does the healing. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> I see face in your future. Appetizers of plenty. It's not going to be easy to win. This will not be an easy game to win. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. I think Tom Kench works out pretty well against these things because it's just, you can also just have it like two mana destroy a spell shield, right? So they just have like free cards that just spend two mana destroy spell shields. A feast of yeah, you can use that to destroy some spell shields. That's pretty nice. Put me in, Tommy boy. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate Pablo. <laughs> We'll get our licks in. 
So they can trade with Ruin Runner with the 4 1. Yeah, that's less to heal over there. So we got him down to 4. Currently. Let us prove this establishment fair. Bring the foot and bell! Would be a great time for those ruinous paths. Alright, so we're at 22. This will be 27. Okay. Got a hush out of their hands. Mm. Yeah, they're definitely scared of shape stone. Okay, so Sivir's leveled up. Well, you already got the pot boiling. Yes, but not for you, army. Appetizers of plenty. So what all can we do here? Falling away, Pablo. And I see you is first in your wee bowl, Ag. Four mana. I can play another Treasure Seeker and a Merciless Hunter. A proper my allyship, demon the star child. Oh, Tom, there may be redemption for you yet. I see your life falling away, Pablo. And I see you this first in your wee bowl, Hag. Art is gonna make a meal of them. All right, that'll do. We'll just have our Overwhelm go right here. They don't have any mana. Even a matchup that seems like it should be poor for us. Ruin Runner just steals the games, right? This <laughs> Ruin Runner dealt, uh, what, like 11 damage. And you could still just steal the game. Alright, so starting off 1 and 0. Oh. Alright, so we got Sivir Mirror. They're going with the more traditional Sivir action. I could see Powder Keg make it rain doing good here against Sivir action. We could also have, like. How does, like, Powder Keg Ricochet do? I didn't think about Ricochet. I wonder what Powder Keg Ricochet is like. Alright, so they have an Elite in hand. I will be passing. I'll write my, own story. my card is an elite. Just a little farther. I've worked out something special. I'd like to deal two damage three different times. That does help Silver level up pretty good. Six damage. So Powder Keg's Ricochet do work. Man, giving that thing Challenger is ridiculous. Okay, so what am I going to do? Yeah, Sivir with Challenger. So we're going to have to get rid of the Spell Shield first. And then have, like, Quicksand afterwards.
Business as usual. Interesting. So that doesn't get rid of the powder keg. Interesting. Quick hands make quick work. I'm kind of scared of like playing Sivir Rune Runner attacking, they have barrier. I don't know if that's a realistic thing for them to have. I'm kind of scared of. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Still quicksand. My steel is yours. Find your own. We laugh at death. On gold cards, it does two damage so in case they add a plus three plus one. Steel protectors, man. Gotta trust your instincts. Wish I would have opened attacked. But well, I guess we gotta protect her out of their hand, I guess. Gonna find a gift for an action. Right, Arda. And they've had triple preservarium. Five me now. Artists gonna make a meal of them. So four other mana. Tombs, towns, and everything in between. I don't really want to use my powder cake on this thing. I don't feel like this double up's gonna be able to kill anything. Maybe I should have sent it back. If it can kill something, that'd be great, but like all their spells are, you know, good, cheap protection spells, basically. Maybe I cover up the powder keg. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Years take, experience gives. Basically, this board just kind of trades best case scenario for me, and they. Wrap them up tight. This will send them running. Yeah, it's like best case scenario, like this stuff will trade, and then they're gonna have all these cards left. 
I guess they got this. You witless cretin. They had a great hand. You know, triple Preservarium and, and just cheaper cards than what I had. They had a great hand. Quit struggling. Having all those cheaper cards, but then having the triple Preservariums to make up for it. Yeah, they've gone gone through their deck three more cards than what I've gone through. Well, if this somehow works... Gross. We gotta play like a treasure seeker here. Give me like a 2-1. No Relentless Pursuit. Deal two to an enemy. If it kills it, deal four to the enemy nexus. I cannot deal two to my own... Yeah, that would have been cool. I could target my own thing to do four to the enemy nexus, but that is not how that card works. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Come on, play a 2-1. Play a Treasure Seeker. Unfortunately, just have too many copies of all the champions. They have multiple Merciless Hunters, multiple Actions, multiple Ruin Runners, multiple Sivers. When you face only Spell Shield and Pump Spells. Double Up did not look good. Alright, this time it's, it's my, my time to keep all the two mana cards. Go get this one. Treasure Seeker. Ripper's Bay. Alright, we got a Lurk deck with a Ripper's Bay in it. They're not going to not attack, right? <laughs> yeah, they have to attack. Alright, so that could very well be a pike on top. That would not be my preferred card on top. Line them up. Okay. So I need to do... Line them up. One damage to this, and then make it rain. So the Mega Rain does two to everything. And then the line them up finishes it off. So we can kill both of those, not let them attack, not let them lurk. Line them up and make it rain.
thing's kind of big. My thinking here is get it injured, try to use double up. Could be flawed thinking. That could definitely be a waste of a quicksand that I need to be waiting on that one. For those to be scarier. That could certainly be a waste of a quicksand. Quick hands make quick work. Yeah, we're gonna have so many of these five twos. Like they have the two mana spell. Or no, it's just death from below. All right. Okay. So they're taking five here. We're down to six. Line them up. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I don't have the mana still for double up. Damage. They're out of go. Towns and everything in between. All right, cool. So now, hopefully, double up on the pike kills them. They have to block those. And then they play like Pike's Champion spell. Bone Skewer. No? They were gonna play Bone Skewer and I was gonna respond with this. Do I Uh I guess we try it. I was hoping they would, you know, I was being, gonna be able to respond to a spell with double up. No, they did have Pike's Bone Skewer. Oh man, they played perfectly. Oh, they played that perfectly. Oh, my opponent played perfectly. GG's. Yeah, yeah. We take 11. I didn't have the mana for knock him down and after the Mega Rain, I didn't have the mana for knock him down and uh, double up. Finally. 
Why are they playing perfectly? <laughs> Why didn't they block with the 5-1? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could have just ran yeah, I could have just waited it out. The thing is, is like I so like both of my units would have died in combat right there, so it would have been just with the level up where they had multiple cards in hand still. So like if, if I if I don't cast the double up right there, then they could just play larger like these larger units that were already going to like they were going to kill me and they wouldn't die to the double up. So like that was like a spot for me to be able to cast the double up, uh, guaranteed. So it wasn't like. Right, like, after combat there, then they could just, like, unload, like, two or three. You know, they just had, like, if they were just sitting with larger lurk cards. The only card, like, in their deck is, like, that Bone Skewer that, like, saves them. And I just thought, like, with them not playing the Bone Skewer and going to the trade, it kind of it kind of felt like all they had in hand were just, like, larger, you know, larger lurk cards. So I felt like I had to play it. The, the Ruinous Paths could be... Yeah, because the Ruinous Paths haven't done anything. They could be um, Monster Harpoon to help us kill some larger cards, some larger units. Monster Harpoon could be a thing. Correct. The Ruinous Path is the drain plus draw for two, but we've never... Every time we've had it, we haven't been able to drain. It's just been drawn. And even even so, it... it's not necessarily the best. <laughs> yeah, Overhamster says, When facing Lurk, I always feel like I'm doing great, and then suddenly, in two turns, they murder me with giant monsters. Yeah, they kind of thought we had that the whole time. Not a great Mega Rain. At least I have my 2 2 trade with the 4 2. Yeah, Pike is yeah, Pike's the card for Lurk, and yeah, they they did have Death from Below Pike and then also Bone Skewer Pike. You know, Pike's Bone Skewer, so. That's definitely the card. But still didn't feel like a game that I should have lost. I also didn't have a single Twisted Fate. You know, like their best card's Pike, mine's probably Twisted Fate. Yay! See, I know I'm killing, like, the Curse Keepers, but killing Curse Keepers doesn't let them kill Curse Keepers, right? Because they want to kill their own Curse Keepers for their Nasses. Like, they want to kill all the stuff. Who says I don't share? Hey, A.B. Carter. Don't ever mind blocking with Twisted Fates. That means we can play new Twisted Fates. Obviously, I don't really want to block with a Sivir. What's our reputation looking like? Zero. Be nothing left when I'm done. Twenty-eight. Ugh. These glimpse beyonds are killing me. Not letting my Sivir Strike get reputation at all. Drain the 
Chain three. Okay. Not the best use of the powder keg. Maybe we should wait on that and like they play Viego and then I ricochet for like 10 damage. Or death for all who need. Yeah, I probably should have waited on that. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Gotta go with the flow. That's good. The dark beckons. Make it worth my while. Viego's good enough that I'm just gonna take that trade. We'll get new Sivir that now has spell shield again. Because if I don't take that trade, then I try to challenge like the next round, then they have like all their mana and they got rid of the spell shield, so then they like vengeance my Sivir, then Viego stays alive and everything's messy. Oh come on, Viego bugged. So 6 6 Viego should be 6 5 Viego. All right, cool. All right, good. Got the win. Two and two. Another victory to fill the coffers. That's just in two and a half hours. Facing Peyton Manning's brother, Pate. <laughs> we got Aurelia Azir. Let's go ahead and get rid of that thing. We'll take Reaper, make a rain, twist of fate. I don't know. Quicksand's always good. Maybe we should keep Quicksand. So I can play Reaper on one or Treasure Seeker. One Reaper. Then I can have line him up, knock him down, and make it rain uh, all on round three. I could do all three. I'll have because that costs five mana. And Mordecai says, I don't care if Vagar is good or bad, I will play him till the end of time. Best champ in league. I think Vagar is going to be good, and I think the Darkness stuff does look really good, especially with having now Senna having two Darkness champions. Uh, it's it's looking really powerful. And the... Because they have a lot of really good support units, right? Like two and three mana cards that either make Darkness or make the Darkness cost less or deal more damage. Like, all of those cards all look really, really good. And so, like, that's that's what's going to make Vagar and Senna good, I think, is all those kind of things. That's my resting Well, if I want to play both knock them down and make it rain, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need to play both. Got it. You need not follow, but you will witness. So the cool thing here is if they use like plus three plus one thing to save Green Glade Duo, right, their shape stone, and they're like, ha, look at how good we are. We're gonna be like, I don't think so. Line them up. We got burst speed powder cake coming on in here. Get that thing out of here. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so Zier down to one health. For those who desecrate our home. Um, kinda need to kill Hmm. Do I go red card or gold card? I guess red card. Deal we in. I'm a people person. I kind of killed the Aurelia, though. Alright, so this gets a lot of damage for leveling up Sivir. We also get to slay two units and make this Reaper a 5-1. So I could open attack for 7, but we'll have 5 mana. I could also Merciless Hunter Waking Sands. Hello, my lead. 
How many champions have quick attack? Seems like all of them. Quick attack. Quick attack. Quick attack. My heart weeps for every fallen ally. A leader must see victory beyond each loss. We love it when they run! Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Azir, I think, because the Aurelia can't really block anything. They're gonna go to two, or have Aurelia trade with a six one. Wow, they're going to two. They are going to two. Okay, let's find something that does two damage. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> they just have all the champions. It's another one of those. Victory beyond each loss. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. Question is, what is better to climb out of bronze? Aurelia Azir or Zed Lulu? Both of them perfectly good to climb out of bronze. I wouldn't really necessarily say one is better than the other. They are both great choices. Um, you know. They are both thumbs up choices, for sure. So, um, whichever one you like better, basically, you know. So, they're both great. Whichever deck you want to play, go ahead and go with that one. I'm planning an open attack on the way back. You have seen today. Just run while you can. They currently only have one thing that can block fearsome. Man, now should I play Sivir first instead of open attack? Uh, no, it's gotta be open attack. Cause if I play Sivir, they do weird things. Like All right, they do like the the five drop that like blade dances a million times, and it's like all this damage. And not worth it. Okay, so there we go. That was Sivir's fate. Kind of turned it around after a rough start. Got a nice three-two record. Um, I liked almost everything in the deck. Of course, the the Shreema package that we know about. Is amazing, but I, you know, I, I really like Twisted Fates, Brayfin, Make It Rain, Line Em Up, Croaker, Deckhand. All those Bilgewater cards were awesome. There, it's only two cards that weren't very good. Double Up did not look very good. It just couldn't kill stuff. It got stuck in our hand multiple times. I'd want to replace that. And then Ruinous Path was the other one that looked pretty poor. So those are the only two cards that looked that didn't perform well. So if you just take those out, you got 36. Um, everything else looked pretty good. I think that I would probably go with another Preservarium. I'm also not sure about the Reapers. Like, Reaper is, is cool and all, but, like, Reapers kind of win more-ish a little bit. I feel like Hired Gun... I want to just play, like, Hired Guns instead of Reapers. That's a lot of twos, but Hired Gun into, like, your Sivir, Twisted Fate, Quick Attack stuff. That could give you another awesome card. Or, I guess, Rock Hopper, same kind of thing. So, maybe some Higher Gun or Rock Hopper instead of Reaper, potentially. Let's see, so we got three more slots once we take out those Ruinous Paths. What else do we want? We, would we want something to protect? You know, you can have like more challengers with Boxtopus or Jaw Hunters. You can have something to protect. Um, Sivir Twisted Fate with like an Ancient Hourglass. Those are pretty good options. I think we were talking about playing, we already have a lot of fours, Sprayfin just more fours. I think we're maybe talking about playing a couple copies of like Monster Harpoon. I think I want like two of those. And then uh, one copy of, probably another two drop. Probably either like an, I think probably one of Ancient Hourglass. I think I'd go Higher Gun, but one copy of like Ancient Hourglass, Higher Gun, Rock Hopper, something like that. I like the extra health on the Higher Gun. I think that that helps out with your Fortune Croaker when you compare it to um, Rock Hopper. We don't need, we're not playing Shapestone. We don't need the Landmark. 
Or you could play an extra quicksand. Quicksand was pretty useful a lot of the time. But I think that's what I do with the, like, with those uh, last four slots. Just maybe get, you know, like one extra little hired gun in here and then some monster harpoons and load up on those preservariums. So there we go. That's going to be the deck. That's Sivers Fate. That was really fun with Line em Up and Mega Rain. That was a lot of fun. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments to let me know what you think of Powder Keg Sivir. Um, yeah, leave those comments so I know what you think of the deck and these new cards that I added into it. That we upgraded it well enough. We got other ideas, you know, put them there in the comment section. But that's going to be it here for Sivers Fate. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.